so welcome back so in this uh, session we will see now how we can extend our uh, protractor with cucumber okay so in our previous session we have seen how we can configure the protractor with cucumber in the visual studio code and also we have seen a particular scenario outline with uh, examples like how a particular scenario is repeating based on these examples and then we have seen how we can combine the feature with uh, the typescript definition step definition file and then we have seen how we can generate a cucumber report as well okay so today we will see something interesting that is uh, the scenario with uh, some uh, test data okay so here scenario outline is uh, repeating multiple times based on number of rows excluding the header part now scenario is something where it will execute um, without any dependency of the examples and there we can have the test data and uh, it is not mandatory to have a test data for a scenario but if we have a test data we will see how we can handle that okay so i will use the same code base which we uh, were working on before so let me just close this one okay so let me add few more scenarios to this one okay so here is my other part of the scenario let me do one thing just to make uh, it clear let me comment it so you can select that code block or the feature block and then you can go to the edit menu and you can do here toggle line comment so what will happen it will ignore the test uh, these features okay so it's because we have not implemented these three lines that's why it is giving me error so let's quickly go to the sample.ts file and let's implement the uh, features those are not yet implemented for quicker access given when then let me copy paste this one okay so let me copy the description so profile report screen and then let me do the rest of uh, when and then okay so i have implemented everything as you can see there is no errors because we have implemented but you would have seen there is some test data here i have written now this test data is not a mandatory one like for scenario outline as i was telling the examples is mandatory because without examples the scenario outline will not have its existence right because we have to repeat that many times but whereas scenario you can have the test data and you cannot have the test data now let's see a scenario where you have the test data now for that what we can do so in the validate profiles we will implement that so for now let's do one thing okay so here we will uh, try to read that uh, data table so this is basically called as data table now this data table we will read it here now once now why do we need this because certain scenarios where you need uh, to verify uh, against your uh, web application right so that's where actually you can have set of test data on your uh, data table and then fetch the value from the web application and then compare it so this could be one of the scenario so let me first uh, pass a parameter here so here if you see we don't need this is my existing code base now here what i will do I will say table now because some or other way I need to bring that test data into this particular uh, then statement right so for that what I will use I will say table definition okay and then if you see here this table definition is coming from cucumber so I'm keeping that as it is okay so first thing now how do we read that data okay so what i will do i will create a variable and let's let me make it as a rows now here what i will do this table this particular table which i got it as a parameter if i put dot as you can see here i'm getting four different methods actually to read that value now let's see one by one now hashes so if you see the description here returns an array of object where each row is converted to an object means it is uh, it is running multiple times based on number of rows of test data and each row it considers as an object now we can read that row and then we can display that okay so but one condition is that the first row 
is acting as a header means uh, what it means like let's say if I am reading this one by using this uh, hashes this hashes method and this particular row now we'll consider each row as an object okay so if i loop it then what will happen if i give this name key then i will get the first instance as abc if i ask a tool then i will get selenium that's what we are going to see okay so i need to now loop it so underscore dot so sorry dot each is a method now it is giving me error because I need to import that so I can use load dash. So from there library I can say each and here I will pass that row as a parameter and then I will create a function and inside that what I will do individual elements I will put it okay now here what I will do I'll read that value now row is nothing but this row is nothing but that is each row that whole row will take it as a object and will assign to this row now if I give a key to this row then I will get that value okay so what I will do console.log and here if I say row dot and let me get that so one is name tool and experience right so I will say name now it will be uh, uh, iterating through the uh, different rows so how many rows are there one two three four because it will escape this particular exclude this particular first row and then these four rows it will read the value based on this name tool and experience okay so for this let me run this so we have already set up this config.ts right in our previous session as you can see here the features and we have set up already the reporter all so in the config file we have set that already okay so if you see here reports under this reports HTML I will be getting this cucumber reporter HTML right so let me first execute this one so npm run test okay so as you can see let me open that feature file so if you see this one abc selenium 7 that is my first row second row third row and fourth row so now once you get this data then you can play with that so tomorrow let's say that in uh, in real time scenario where you want to check whether your name is matching to the uh, name that is appearing on the web application so here what you can do first read the content from the web application keep it in an array and then you can loop it across this and then you can compare that the row dot name is matching to your uh, name field in your application or not so that's so it's basically reading in uh, grid view actually right so this is the content whatever you are reading then uh, however you want to validate depending on your requirement you can utilize this data okay so this is where we have seen the hashes method but if you would have seen here we have some more uh, methods are available right so let's comment this one okay so we have seen one method right but there are different methods are available so for another method if i do this one table dot and we have seen hashes now raw is a simple way like as you can see the description says that it returns the table as a two-dimensional array now whatever the data you are getting from the uh, data table if you put raw it is a raw format then you can just loop it by using the typescript or javascript whichever you are using uh, the language okay uh, and it will not exclude your uh, header it will include your header because it is pure raw format right so it is acting as you are uh, bring you are reading an array okay but if you see this raw um, array ws it says returns the table as a two dimensional array without the first row now let's see this one okay so I will put this method as it is and then here I will loop it now before we have used each loop right now we will use for loop to read this one for each because that will be easier for us okay so what I will do I'll make this rows dot for each and then I will create a method or a function under this I will give this value now this value is nothing but it is representing each row as an object so if I print the value here then it will give me the complete row of this one like ABC selenium okay 
and it will skip my first row now why it is skipping it is just for informational purpose you are giving but there is no meaning as such if you are using rows method but i would always uh, suggest that you use the hashes because it is always easy right to fetch the value based on the keys but yeah if you have some specific requirements then you can use the rows okay so let's try to print this one now if i say console.log and I will print value first let's see what it is printing then we will fetch uh, individual uh, individual values from each row okay so as you can see here it is printing that whole row because value is nothing but an object which consists of that whole row now sometimes you want to fetch individual elements right so how do you want to do simple thing you need to pass that index of that so value dot zero means it will first fetch this abc for the first row now when it loop for the second time it will give me the ef and then pqr and then ghi loop wise okay now let's print this one and to replicate this particular way okay so let me quickly do that okay so now let me print this one so as you can see it is now giving me the individual elements so based on that uh, requirement you can just read individual values so this is again another way of uh, reading the data so this is basically if i write here so the based on header fetch the value header is the key okay and here returns each row edge object excluding first row okay so here there is uh, so in this rows method there is no concept of uh, what you call key value pair so it acts as a it is just returning as an uh, object actually okay so this is one way now we will see another way let me just comment it this one okay so if i copy this one now let's see the third method if you see the last method which is row has rows has so it is combination of the key value pair and then fetching the value as an array okay so this is actually if you see here the description says written an object where each row corresponds to an entry so first column is the key here and second column is the value so it means that here uh, so before if we have seen the first row is acting as a key right here but what it says rows has is exactly the uh, what do you call the opposite of that where the column the first column will act as a key okay so for this we will not use this particular uh, uh, what do you call example this one because if i try to execute this one for just for an example console.log let's say rows dot uh, let's say abc because my first row will act as a uh, what do you call key right so that's why i am trying to get fetch the value of abc because see these are these will act as my header now so if i access abc i should get selenium now let's see but it will throw me error that is what we are going to see okay so as you can see it is giving me error but it should give me a proper error yeah here you can see row has can only be called when the data table where all the rows have exactly two columns but if you see in my example here i have three columns so what because it is a key value pair right like your map uh, like if you go to the map then where what will happen you will have a key and then there is only one value to that so that is what so i will do one thing for now i will comment this one and then i will only use two column data so toggle line comment okay and then here what i will do so let's say key and then value 
and here I will say username my column should be key so keep that as note so this username for the second row is my key and value would be let's say that QAB box and then I will so here I will say password so because this is key value pair and I should be having two columns so that's why I'm writing this one and here this should not be there and then here let's say qab box one two three okay now like this so this is a correct uh, what you call way of uh, test data when i'm using row hash so here what i will do i will use the username okay because it says that only right and without the first row that's why I have written this key value so I'm not going to use this one this is for readability only so when I say rows dot username I should be getting QAB box and when I say rows dot password I should get this password so let's see that so rows dot password and in all this like whether you are using table dot hashes or row has make sure the key should be exactly matching to this data table key else it will not give you the correct value okay so here the condition is that uh, table has to have two column two column data excluding first row column acts as key column acts as key okay just for understanding i'm keeping so now let's run this code npm run test okay so as you can see here the rows dot username is giving as qab box rows dot password is giving me the password field so this particular rows has for method will be uh, normally like where you need kind of a username password or anywhere where two column data if you are using then this is good option else like as I told before I would always prefer to have the table dot hashes because um, uh, there are rare situations where you will have uh, what you call two column data so uh, better to have the hashes where you have uh, more number of data okay so that's pretty much it uh, reading a data table by using uh, protractor with typescript and this should be same as uh, if you are using javascript as well okay so stay tuned uh, we will see some more uh, stuff into this series uh, cucumber series we will see an actual implementation of uh, what you call validation by using an angular application in our next session